Okay, to make this thing, you are going to need some Lego bricks and some other pieces that I will show you later. But I color coded mine, as you can see, in yellow and red stripes. You don't have to color code it if you don't have enough of one color or, like I did, two colors. If yours is just random colors, that's fine. My first design was random colors, but then I changed it to this one. So it's okay. Alright. So first, what you're going to do is if you're color coding it, then this doesn't really matter. But you're going to make one ring around the bottom, like this. So you take an 8 by 8 base plate and make one ring around with studs. Alright, so now we're going to make the mechanism. You're going to make three pieces according for the mechanism to work. You are going to need, for this part, a 1 by 1 dot with a 1 by 1 brick with a hole in the middle a short little stick, a little yellow ring, a disc that has dots all the way around except for one, and on the other side there's two dots stacked on top of each other stuck on any of the positions that put on the back on any of the dots except for the blank one. You cannot put anything on that. A disc that has one dot on it, just one dot, that's it. Alright, so that's what you're going to need to make this piece. What you're going to do is take your little stick and put it into the side with all the dots. Then, you're going to take your little ring and push it down all the way. You may have to use your nail or even maybe another Lego piece. Okay, so we have that. Now you're going to take your little one by one with a hole in it, push that in, and take your last ring with a dot on it, and put that on. That's one of your pieces. Now, to make the next piece, you are going to need a ring that has, sorry, a ring that has six different colors all the way around. Notice how I said different. A ring that has five colors, leave one empty, and on the other side, one dot on any of the colors, except for the empty one. So it looks like this. Any color, it doesn't matter. One little black stick. Two yellow rings. And a one by one with a hole in the middle. Okay. Like this. Alright. So what you're going to do is take your ring that has all the different colors stick a ring on the tip and shove that through like that now you may want to make it stick out a little bit because of the way this is all going to work you're going to need to do that to shorten this end of the stick now you're going to take your one by one put that in and then you're going to take your little ring put that on and put this on like that now make sure this little middle thing spins you always need to make sure that spins all right now to make your last and final piece you are going to need one of these sticks that has a stud on the end two yellow rings a one by one brick with a hole in the middle and a ring that has five dots around it, any color, and on the other side has one dot on any of them except for the empty one. 
All right, to make this piece, you're going to take the stick, put that on all the way to the back, take the one by one brick with a hole in it, put that on, then the yellow piece again, and then this again. And then put this on with this started, the side of the dots going in towards the brick. Make sure it spins well. Loosen it a little bit if it doesn't. All right, you have made the mechanism. Now you're going to take your eight by eight base plate with the bricks around it and take a one by four brick, any color. Since it's gonna be inside, it doesn't have to match your outer colors. And stick it, well, I'll put that on later. Take this piece, the one that has all the different colors like that, this piece, go one, two, three, four. On the fourth one, stick your thing on that, like that. Then stick your one by four right there. So, two studs from this brick. Then, take this piece. And I want to make sure that the multicolored wheel is on the outside. Now take the side that has this thing and stick it on the one by four, like that. So when this spins, it spins that one. And last but not least, take this wheel and click it on the back. Now you want to do this all so it all lines up. Now my combo is red, white, and blue. Yours may be different, but now I'll show you how to find the combo later but you need to adjust these sticks so they fit in with everything else. So after you make it so everything spins freely and everything's working well, then it's on to the next step, which is making a ring around it again. Like that. Now, what you're going to do is take a stick that has this thing on the end. Take three one by two things, put it on the stick, put a one by one with a hole in it on it, and any handle. Doesn't matter. Now, what you're going to do is put a one by one with a hole through it right there, two away from where this one is. Then you're going to put this piece directly behind it so that this thing goes inside that hole. like that. But you want to adjust it so this is facing down. You want to make it so when this face is down, these face up. All right, now you want to align these so they hit the studs on the wheels. I've already done that. So just do that, pause the video and do that. Now. As you can see, if you try to turn it, sorry, if you try to turn it, it gets stopped by the studs. 
Now this is where those little holes come in. I've kept telling you to leave one empty. Only fill in five. And that is what will create the combo. Now what you're going to do is spin the wheel counterclockwise until the empty one is facing up all the way in the back right here. Now look at the color you're on. So I'm just going to do that quick. Gray on gray. All right. So my first combo color is gray. Now I'm going to spin it clockwise all the way around. Like that. Oops, sorry. So I have gray. And I want to spin it until it hits that stick. There, that color is gray again. And spin this back. And I have red. So my combination is gray, gray, red. And that will cause all of the blank spots to face up and this will be allowed to go down. Now, you may not like your combo. And I can understand why you don't. I don't like my combo. It's gray, gray, red. What kind of combination is that? So what you're going to do is switch out these colors until you get a combination you like. So gray, gray, red. So let's say I want mine to be blue, blue, red instead. I could put blue right there and just keep red there. So that would give me the combination that I want. So now what I'm going to do is make another layer of red bricks going around. Or any color, whatever color you have. Like that. Then you're going to make one more layer of bricks all the way around. All right. Now you're going to take some smooth pieces and you're going and a couple studded pieces and you're going to make it smooth all the way around the edges except for a couple ones with studs. Like that. All right, now the last thing you want to do is to make the roof. I just took two four by eight pieces. You can also just take another eight by eight, and I covered it with smooth pieces. Except for I did leave a little stud right there so I could put this little piece right there, but you don't have to do that. And then you just take this and put it right on top, and you're done. You have made a three combo combination lock, three color combo. So if I want to do mine, I do it as normal. I go counterclockwise, gray, then gray, then red, and it unlocks. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please also check out my channel for more cool videos. Thank you.